At least one third of all of his work is taken up with letter writing. And the letters we write will be a demonstration of our own capabilities. So we need to get them right. Now in a previous tutorial I spoke about working with templates and I have in front of me a template easily accessible from office.com online and it's a cover letter with enclosures. Now all we have to do with a template is fill in our own details and make sure that the letter is worded how we would like it to be sent. So where it says admin, that's the author, we put in our own name and then we carry on with our address, our phone number and our email address. Put the date in and then our recipient details. Then we move on to the text and again add our recipient name and then we just need to amend the text so that it works for us. Once we finish, up to the review and the spell checker. Now that's a template letter. Working from scratch, if you're working in the USA style where everything is on the left, you just type your own address and using the return or enter key you move down the page, adding the details as you're going along. But a UK business letter looks slightly differently. And what we need to do is we need to position our own address on the right hand side of our page. Now lots of people get into the habit of using a spacebar to move things across on their page. You should never use your spacebar for that purpose. I always use the tab key and I dare say there are other professionals that use wonderful ways of positioning but I prefer to use the tab key. So we want the first line of our address and if we move the tab key along to a suitable place on our page we can start to type our address. Once the first line of our address is in, press the enter key, then we can put the first line of our recipient's address. And our recipient, Mickey Mouse House. And when we get to the end of our recipient's first line of their address, again, tab across. And the second line of our address. Return. And once our postcodes are in, come down a line and tab across for our date. And then when our date's in, we can start our letter. The correct way to start the letter, dear whoever you're writing to, Mr. Mouse. If you need to put a reference, that will go in the next line. But instead of starting underneath the deer, for the first line we use the tab, just a tab across once, and then we can start the text of our letter. And for speed I've taken up some text from the template, but you will type your own text in there. Now, the letter we're writing here is to do with enclosing some copies of additional information with our resume, curriculum vitae, as we're in the UK. We need to highlight those three pieces of work that we're in closing and we want to show those as bullet points so up to our paragraph now instead of using the spacebar or anything like that or tab we use the bullet points and if we click on the arrow next to it we can see what those bullet points will look like with none there it's the same with a black dot a circle a square etc Go back to the black dot, if I click on there, and there we have a professional looking business letter. Before we print it or do anything else, we always need to do our spell check. Thanks very much.